Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. If you're using Dynamics 365 sales, then you probably noticed that adding a product to an opportunity, a quote, an order, or an invoice is not the best process today. You actually have to add products manually one by one unless you're using the suggestions feature that comes with Dynamics 365 sales. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the new experience to add products to opportunities, quotes, orders, or invoices, and that is currently in preview. There's a couple of things that you can configure as well, so let's go ahead, dive right in, and take a look. So I'm going to start with showing you what the experience is today. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this opportunity here. And then I want to add some product line items to this opportunity. So I can click here on add product. And then I get my quick create form, right? I can just go ahead and start adding products from here. And then I can do save and close or save and create new. But this is very tedious, right? If you have a lot of products, this could take a long time. Now, the other thing that I can do, oops, let me just click here for a second. And then I can click on suggestions. So if you have suggestions set up, then from here I can very quickly add, right, anything that is on this list of suggestions. So I can say add to list. And then I can add, or I can update, I should say, the correct quantities, but I still have to go back in there. So this is also, I think, not, maybe not the best. There's, there's other ways that obviously we can do this now with this new functionality that's in preview. Let's take a look where we can turn this on. So you're going to navigate here to app settings and then right here on the left hand side you can see here your product catalog setting so you're going to click on that and then this is where you can enable that preview so i'm going to go ahead and enable that i'm going to click on save and you can see here that my setting was updated successfully so let's take a look i might have to refresh my screen but we'll see i'm going to go back to that same opportunity here and my product line items yep I do have to refresh so let's refresh and now you see that the button is now changed because it now says add products it beforehand it said add product so if I click on this button, you're going to see that you're going to get this additional window, right? That's popping up. So from here, you can put your quantities in. Let's just say we're going to do 10 AC relay boards and also 10 hoses for that as well. And then you can just add that. There we go. And it's going to be added to a little cart. You can see that over here, right? So if I click on that, this is everything that I've selected so far. And then I can go ahead and save this to an opportunity. Now, since I have, for this particular opportunity, since I have a price list associated with that, these are all of the items on the price list. Now, you can also, if you have your product catalog set up, with these product families, that's what this is. So if I click on here, I can see all of my products that belong to my field service family. You also have the ability to view recently used. So, right, if salespeople are selling particular products a lot, they can very quickly go there, again, update those quantities, and then click Add. And then lastly, if you want people to be able to do write-in products, we can do that as well. I'm going to say write-in products. 
I'm gonna put in a price. Those are $250 each. And I'm gonna do two of those. I'm gonna add those as well. And now you can see, right, that these are now added here. So let me just now click on Save to Opportunity. And those items are now added to the opportunity. Now, what I wanted to let you know, you saw earlier, right? I already have that price list selected and therefore I'm getting these price per units right over here. If you actually remove the price list and let's go ahead and add products again, you can see here that now I have additional product families, but what I really wanted to, to mention is that, look, some of these don't have a price per unit now on this screen. You also notice that some of them do have prices in the price per unit column. So I noticed that if one product has two price lists attached, then no price per unit is shown. If you only have one price list attached, then you will see a price per unit. And this is really the reason why you will wanna make sure that an opportunity or a quote always has that price list attached. Now, again, this works for opportunities, right? This new feature to add products for quotes, for orders, and for invoices as well. Again, you can just turn that on where I showed you earlier, and then you can just kind of test it out, right? This is still in preview. It is not yet a completed feature, so keep that in mind. But it's I think it's a very nice, nice feature, a very nice way to very quickly add products uh, to these tables. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Take care, everybody, and hopefully I'll see you next week.